Hi, I'm Jordan from Kentner Creative, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your iPhone to a TV. Kentner Creative, being an audiovisual company located in Vancouver, we rent TVs to events all the time. Trade shows, weddings, backyard parties, uh, corporate uh, boardrooms that need a temporary TV put in for the day. Uh, so we do this a thousand times a year. And we're going to show you the tips that we use to connect an iPhone to a TV. So what do you need first? You need your iPhone. Anything after iPhone 4 will work. If you have an iPhone 3 or 4, you just need a different adapter. Speaking of adapter, we don't recommend going wireless. We've seen all kinds of different issues, especially in a corporate environment. We always recommend going hardwired. It's the most secure, most reliable. And yes, you do have a cable, but at the end of the day, you have guaranteed bandwidth. You don't have dropouts. And what do we hate the most? We hate getting into a boardroom environment. Maybe you're teaching a class at school, or maybe you're trying to show a home video at home. And when the network is full and there's lots of people there, you get dropouts, it's super distracting to what you're trying to do. Even if you're just trying to show photos from your family vacation, that wireless interference and having wireless dropouts is totally distracting. You want to focus on showing the content that you're there to show. That kind of goes into why I recommend the official from Apple Lightning to HDMI adapter. The third party adapters, like I said, we do this a thousand times a year. We rent TVs all over BC and these are by far the most reliable. Tons of times the client will have their uh, knockoff version of this adapter that goes lightning to HDMI when they're trying to connect their iPhone to the TV and it just doesn't work. And then we pull ours out and it'll work every time. Uh, some people think it has to do with an HDCP issue, which is like a bandwidth issue related to HDMI and also a digital rights management issue. But I'm telling you, just get the Apple One. The firmware update is always in sync with the latest OS updates and you will be much happier. It'll save you buying one, shipping it back to Amazon, buying another one, and doing it right uh, the second time. Just do it right the first time. It's worth a couple extra bucks. Uh, for HDMI cable, any HDMI cable will do. You can buy Amazon Basics, Monoprice, uh, whatever is easy for you to get for an HDMI cable, they will all work. Uh, so you'll need that to connect your adapter to the TV, and then you'll need your TV, obviously. So that's where we'll start. We'll start with plugging in the TV. While the TV is starting up, what I like to do is run the HDMI cable. You can plug it into any HDMI input on the back of your TV. You can, there's a way to do this all with VGA as well, but it's 2020, so we're doing it HDMI. So you plug that into the input number one spot. Like I said, you can plug it into any input, just remember what one you plugged it into. Then you'll plug your HDMI cable into the HDMI to lightning adapter. So now that's all connected. And then you'll plug it into your phone. Now it's important to know that you, this will not work if your phone is locked. Once you unlock your phone, just give it a couple seconds and it should show up on the back. If for whatever reason this does not show up, the first thing I want you to do is unplug and replug in your TV and then turn off your iPhone and turn your iPhone back on. So shut it all the way down, then bring it all the way back up. If that doesn't work, just double check your input here. You can see we're on HDMI 1. And like I said earlier, that's what we plugged into. So if you double check your input, restart the TV, and restart your iPhone, that'll resolve 90% of the issues. Everything else will come down to that adapter or cable. So like replace the adapter or replace the HDMI cable. So as you can see, it just turned off because my phone locked, but I'll unlock my phone again. So what do I think is the best uh, experience on the TV? As you can see here, we're just mirrored, but what you're really looking for is a great two screen experience. So on YouTube, I found that that's the best. When you hit play on a video, the video plays full screen now. So before it was just in the center, now we're showing full screen and you're left with a two screen experience. And that means that you can scroll to see other videos. You can go down the comment section or whatever you're wanting to do. Uh, and that's great. When you're presenting, I love having a two screen experience because it allows you to organize what's coming next for those who are watching the TV around you. Um, on Netflix, I'm not gonna show it here, but Netflix just shows a big play button on your TV. It locks out your iPhone essentially, and it shows all the content on the TV. 
Another common thing, if you're a teacher or you're in the corporate world, is you want to show your presentation. So I just opened up PowerPoint. I have PowerPoint on my phone. I brought a presentation over. Uh, and then I'm just going to launch it here. I just got to exit out and then relaunch it. So there we have it. So you can see here, I have a small version of this on my phone. Uh, and I can swipe. Uh, actually, on PowerPoint, you click the next slide on the bottom. And it'll go to the next slide there. You can see in the middle, there's this dark section. So that at the top section, it shows what's on the TV behind me. This dark section in the middle is your notes. So if you're presenting to a classroom or a boardroom, you can hold your phone right here and see your notes with the TV behind you. And then on the bottom is all the slides. So you can see what's coming next. So I'm going to exit out of that. I'll show you Keynote. Keynote is Apple's version of PowerPoint. It's very powerful. Uh, so we can go here. and We'll launch the presentation. Now you'll see on my phone it's gray, and that's gray because I have it on notes view right now. If you want to change that, there's a little button up in the top right that has two boxes, and that is to signify your dual screen experience. So you can click that and decide what you want to see. So I want to see current and next, then I'll exit out of that menu. So here I can see the current and next slide. So I can click next, and there's the next one. And you can see that it's constantly updating, and I can go back and forth. Uh, however I want during my presentation. So that's Keynote. I uh, hope this makes sense. If this doesn't make sense at all, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you're expecting to see, what you want to see more of. If this is helpful, please let me know that as well. We create these videos all the time. We have hundreds of videos on stuff like this. We're always looking to improve. Uh, so please let us know in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe using the subscribe button underneath the video as well. And if you want to buy the Apple adapter, we have a link in the video description to the official Apple adapter just to make it super easy for you so you don't uh, accidentally buy the wrong third-party adapter. And I hope this video is helpful. Thank you so much for watching.